What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today what we're going to do is we're going to use the key group program and we're going to make a, um, a 808 out of a hi-hat. Do you think it's possible? Let's see. Oh, one more thing before I go. Don't forget to use earphones if you want to hear the actual sound. If you're using a cell phone or something, just put on the headphones and you can hear the sound. All right? Let's go. Let's get it. Alright YouTube, the first thing we need to do now is find the uh, um, hi-hat, okay? So we're going to go over here to our sample, over here, and select the hat. Once we select the hat, keep going, let's pick a hat. Let's use that one, the first one we hear. Okay, it's right there. Second thing we need to do is go to our key group program right here. Key group program, right? Now we need to edit the sample. Go to sample edit. And let's find a part of the sample that we want to keep. Let's take that. We just need a little part. Right there. Alright. So what we need to do is extract that. Or we don't have to extract it. Let's just leave it there. And um, go back to the key group program. Now we're dropping that. Okay. Alright. So C1. So what we need to do now is... On the keypad, you just hit um, pad loop. All right, we hit the pad. We hit the pad loop. After we hit the pad loop, the next thing we need to do is um, mess around with the um, the LFO and stuff. So let's go to the um, the filter right here. Okay, but I'm looking at it on my MPC but it's right here all right so what we need to do turn the attack up a little bit drop the sustain a little bit let's drop the decay a little bit okay put a little little bit of release on it all right so the next thing we need to do now is add an eq so we're going to add the um, Fab Filter Pro Q3. Alright, so we take out some of the the low end. Round, let's say around 20 right there. Just a little bit right there. Alright, take a little bit of the hot end out. Then what we're going to do in the middle right here, add a um, low shelf. and boost it alright you just gotta play around with it a little bit so after we add that now let's add let's move this to the second one right here right underneath that we are gonna add a um, compressor so let's just add the, um, the air compressor so the air compressor the threshold we gonna drop it all the way down right the ratio, we're going to turn it up 4 to 1. The output, turn the output all the way up. Let's bring the threshold back up to like 40. Or 48. Let's do 48, right? Alright, now after we do that, the next thing we need to do, on top of both of these, let's add the um, EQ, another EQ, but we're going to add the, um, the para EQ, right? On here, we're going to turn just the gain off, the, um, the gain of the high, we're going to turn it down. The gain of the mids, turn it down. See, you can hear it getting better, right? 
the low, the low, turn it up, the low mid, then the low, okay, so, after we get that, see the attack on this, on the second, the one at the bottom, we're going to turn that one, the attack all the way up. And the release, we're going to turn the release down. Alright, now let's go back to the parametric EQ. After that's done, let's come over here to where Semi is at. Just turn it down a little bit. Alright, let me move the mic a little bit. So I'm on the keyboard, I'm just going up and see which one sound better to me. So it just you just got to play around with it until you get the sound that you're looking for. Alright, let's go back to the sample. So we're at the sample right now. Let's just take some of the... Um, Now that was just from a hi-hat right there. So if we put it here, let's just play it. Stretch it a little bit. Now if you don't want it to be stretched like that, all you got to do is just go back in and add a, um, right here, add a release to it. So watch when I, right here, hold on, I don't know if you can see it. Come right here and add the release to it. Now listen. See? But that's too long, so let's drag the release in a little bit. Let's move it up while it's playing. So it's just it's that simple. Now we can play with the release now. And let's put it on mono. So after you're done with your sound, to save your sound as a sample for you to use it again, all you got to do is easy. Just let's clear all these. That sound right here. And just drag it right here. 
There you go. Now when you go to edit the sound, there go your 808 right there. All right. So the next thing you could do, you could take some of this off before you save it. That's the 808 right there. Let's just hit play. All right. And then what you do after there, take that stuff away or discard it. Just discard. Alright, so that's our 808 right there. Now you can just come right here, rename it. I, I just name it Dazwa Beats 808. And let's put the date on there. Just save it wherever you know you want to reopen it back up. Alright, that's it. Alright, so I saved it. Now let's go back home and let's find it. So I'll come here and it's right here. All I need to do, there you go. All I need to do is drag it in. Just replace it because it was already in there. And then go to a kick drum. Drop it in there. That's it. Alright YouTube, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, this was just a show how to turn a hi-hat into an 808 or turn any sound for that instance into an 808. You can use this and make sample kits, 808 sample kits. You can make different tones. Alright, that's it man. See you in the next one. Let's go. Let's get it.